The Bujawa are also magnificent divers and can remain underwater for over five minutes and dive down up to 15 meters. To be able to remain so long without breathing, they use their stomach muscles to dose out the oxygen, controlling the air released from their lungs. When diving, they use small goggles the glass of which is made from polished pieces of tortoiseshell. specifically from the south of Sulawesi to the north of the island of Flores, is the third longest in the world after those in Australia and Cuba. Here, the Indian and Pacific Oceans come together, creating the warmest waters in the world, the perfect place for coral to develop. This world of light and color began to be formed 25 million years ago from the accumulation of skeletons composed of calcium carbonate of animal and vegetable origin. The coral reefs constitute the oldest of all natural communities and the ones which contain the greatest diversity of life on Earth. Nowhere else in the world is it possible to find so many different living beings in such close contact and in such great numbers. It is the most complex aquatic ecosystem on the planet. Such variety of life makes effective visual communication necessary to send out signals of warning, confusion or hiding and so the fish of the coral reef have developed extraordinary colors and designs. This is a beautiful sea, but one which contains many dangers. There are some 400 types of coral and over 1,500 species of fish. Some of them so incredibly beautiful, it seems as if each plant or animal is trying to outdo the others. But this evolution has been a slower process in the reef than in other much less stable environments where adaptations and extinctions are frequent due to important changes in the ecosystem. The stability of the reef is not, however, static. Quite the opposite. It's incredibly dynamic. Populations of different species vary considerably but the overall community is maintained. The important thing is not who performs a given function, but that it is performed by someone. A multitude of organisms with different capacities to carry out different functions allows the reefs to overcome setbacks that would devastate less flexible communities. Nonetheless, with global warming and ultraviolet radiation, coral in different places around the world is undergoing a process known as coral bleaching, which consists of whitening due to the loss of symbiotic zooxanthellae 
and so many of them have atrophied lower limbs. The origin could lie in the fact that the waters are unusually warm. The optimum temperature for the growth of coral is between 26 and 27 degrees centigrade. Above this temperature, the coral suffers stress, which intensifies and speeds up the bleaching process. At dusk, the boats that have been out hunting come together again. These apparently fragile floating houses are made of wood from the api tree and are incredibly resistant, able to withstand an entire lifetime on the sea. There is virtually no space in which to move, so much so that the people have stunted legs. The kitchen is in the stern, in the middle the bedrooms and the larder, and in the prow the living room. Though it would seem impossible, an entire family of five members can live on a single boat. They may have very little living space, but the world that surrounds them is in constant change and movement, is open and free. When a child comes into the world, its father throws it into the water to initiate it into this marine environment. At four years old, the child already knows how to maneuver the leper, and by the time they are seven, they know all the fishing techniques. They live in such close contact with the sea that when they are born, they are given names that describe the surroundings at the time of their birth. Here we find names such as bird alighting on a palm tree that has fallen into the water, three black clouds in the sky, or eastern storm with strong winds. Like every day at sunset, the children of Toro Siyaji go to the mosque to receive their Koran classes. The Bajawa Muslims, though they also practice animism and shamanism, Islam arrived in Indonesia at the end of the 18th century, introduced by Muslim traders from India. Nonetheless, they continue to believe in Pangroak Kampo, the spirits that control their world. Any happiness or illness is a reflection of their power. That is why it's important to keep them happy so they'll protect you when the sea grows furious and will keep the world in balance. The day is coming to an end in the calm waters of the Gulf of Tomini. It is time for the Bajau to take their boats alongside the mangrove swamps where they will be protected. These nomads of the sea, like the immense majority of traditional communities on this earth, are facing immense profound changes. Little by little they are disappearing in silence and with them centuries of wisdom forged and practiced over time. There is a Bajau saying that reads, we conserve only what we love, we love only what we understand, and we understand only what we have been taught. It's been three months since Mayana died. 
And finally, everything is ready for the funeral ceremony.